Hi, in the following video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom page transition in Ionic framework. Okay, so at the beginning, we should uh, create a new Ionic project. To do that, just call Ionic start command. Let's call it custom page transition. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, how to do this uh, using Angular. And let's create a um, blank starter project. Now we need to wait to uh, completion of, uh, of uh, project configuration. Okay, as you can see, the project has been configured correctly. So now it's time to open it. Uh, in uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay, so let's open it. And uh, let's uh, let's run the project. Uh, to do this, you, you can just call Ionic, uh, Ionic serve. And as you can see, uh, that's how our blank um, page looks like. So now it's time to create the second page because I want to show you how you can uh, make a custom page transition. So we need uh, two pages. So let's create uh, the second page now. Um, we can do this by uh, call Ionic generate. Ionic generate page. And let's call it a second page. My page has been created. The first page is home. The second page is uh, is called second page. So now let's, let's create a button that uh, allows me to navigate to the second page. Mm, so I can use uh, iron button. I can use property called router link. And I would like to navigate to a uh, second page. And I'm going to do the same uh, on my second page. But this time I'm going to navigate to home page. Hmm? Uh, let's make our page a secondary color. And on the home homepage, let's set color as primary. We should have uh, two different colors on both pages. Okay. As you can see, we have uh, blue homepage and uh, cyan uh, second page, and we can navigate between those two pages. As you can see, there's a different, uh, default Android uh, animation on page transition. And now I'm going to change it uh, into fade animation. To do this, you have to go to um, app component uh, HTML file. And here you have to um, set animation property to let's say my custom page transition okay now open uh, app components typescript now it's time to create my custom page transition uh, in app component uh, I just copy it from my a blog post um, and as you can see we need animation controller uh, in our app component so we need to inject it okay as you can see I created a uh, custom animation using animation control which takes um, our living element, 
our living element is uh, our current page we just go from opacity uh, from value 1 to 0 during 2 seconds and we do it only once I forgot to save all so let's see the result of our custom fade effect yes it's not exactly what I wanted so as you can see uh, the animation doesn't look uh, looks like I expected so uh, it's time to fix it what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, two animations uh, the first one uh, is uh, the animation of the living element uh, which will be um, fading out and the second animation will be set on uh, entering elements uh, and this element will be fade in and I will combine both of them into, into one animation okay so let's create uh, animation 1 and animation 2 okay on uh, entering element and this time uh, I wanted to to make it uh, to make fade in effect on it so from 0 to 1 okay and now I'm going to create the third animation which takes um, already created uh, animations okay and let's return those animation okay so let's test it as you can see that's the effect what I what I wanted now we have a beautiful fade uh, effect on page transition at the end we can enhance a little the look of our application okay so let's add h1 it's the first page next let's change the color to secondary and let's change the header to this is the second page home and I need to uh, copy um, style sheet too okay so let's check the result okay and okay okay uh, what I should change okay so let's go next and go previous so as you can see our transition works like a harm this is all for today if you like the video you can give me thumb up 
if you don't want to miss further videos you can subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching and see you next time